Hello students. Today we are going to start with the second cycle of experiments from Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this, the first experiment which we will be performing is the measurement of current, power and power factor of three different lamps. Those are incandescent, CFL and LED lamp. So the aim of the experiment is to conduct an experiment to measure current, power and power factor of the three lamps. Let's see what are the components required. So for this, we need the, all the three lamps. Plus, we need a multifunction meter, which is going to measure the current, power and power factor and connecting wires. The circuit diagram is shown here. So the supply voltage, which what we are giving is a single phase 230 volt 50 hertz supply. So this is the representation of fuse. We are using a multifunction meter, which is connected in series. And then one by one, we will be connecting all the three lamps. So let's see now the procedure to be followed. As it is written here, connect the circuit as shown in figure one with incandescent lamp. So first we will be connecting the incandescent lamp. Apply 230 volts, 50 hertz single phase supply by closing the MCB. Next, we need to note down the corresponding readings in the tabular column. After that, we need to calculate the power factor by using the formula power factor is equals to the ratio of real power by apparent power. So the real power, we will be obtaining it from the multi-function meter, which will be, which is represented here as W and voltage and current multiplication will give us the apparent power. And later we need to repeat the procedure for the other two lamps that is CFL and LED and tabulate the readings in the tabular. Now let's see how to do the conduction. Good morning students. Uh, today we will be uh, conducting an experiment on power measurement of different bulbs using single phase power. So here what is the main intention behind the experiment is to compare the power uh, consumption between different types of loads. So here we are using three different types of loads. Uh, loads in sense here it is bulbs. So the first bulb is the LED bulb, LED lamp we are using, the second load we are using as the incandescent lamp and the third one we are using as the CFL here. It is written as fluorescent but here we are using as CFL lamp. Okay. So now we will just look at the connections what are made here. First you have to connect the supply side. So supply side means we are connecting red to red which is phase connection. Next we are connecting the neutral part of that black to black. So that is the neutral connection which is made here. Next we are connecting the load side. So similarly connect the red to red which is phase connection. Then you connect the neutral connection. So this is a simple connection which is consisting of only 4 wires. Now you switch on the supply, switch on the main switch here, switch on the MCB. In order to see the readings of this bulb, you can switch on this bulb so that the meter will be on. So you can see into the meter, it is showing few readings. We do not require all the readings here. We require only the readings which are given in the tabular column. The main readings we take here is the current, voltage, power and power factor. So we will see one by one. You can just use these two RMRs for uh, variation of this. So you can see the first line here, it is showing line to neutral. Line to neutral tells you it is the voltage. Uh, measured by the lamp. So it is reading here 246.7 volts. Here it's not given as volts but you have to write it as volts. That is line to neutral voltage. The next line will be showing you the current consumption by the load. So the LED lamp is consuming a current of 0 0.07 amps and the third line is reading the frequency taken by the lamp. So next you have to see the power consumption. The LED lamp is taking uh, approximate power which is varying from 7.9 to 8.2 so you can write an average uh, reading uh, wattage as 7.9 watts or 8 watts. Next we have to note down the power factor reading here. So this bulb is showing a power factor of 0 0.96. It is also varying. So approximately you can write it as 0 0.96 is the power factor of this LED bulb. So this is the set of readings you are taking. Similarly you can make the connections for incandescent lamp and CFL. So you can take the readings in the same procedure for voltage, current, frequency, power factor and wattmeter. Thank you. After performing the conduction, we have got the observations and that is being tabulated in the observation table. So for the incandescent lamp, the current was around 
0.44 amperes voltage is 240 volts power was around 106.1 watts and we have calculated also the power factor using the formula w divided by v into i which came out to be 0.996 similarly the current voltage and power readings for cfl and leds are shown in the observation table and their corresponding power factors has been calculated so finally the result can be written as based on the comparison of power consumption we can say that the power consumed by incandescent lamp is highest whereas the led consumes the lowest power as we can see it from the readings also based on the power factor comparison we can say that the power factor of incandescent lamp is more than the cfl and led lamp that we can observe it from here even though the power factor of incandescent lamps are slightly higher than that of cfl and leds but based on the power consumption these both consume comparatively very less amount of power compared to incandescent lamp so we recommend to use leds lamp in our home thank you all